So in this video, we're going to talk about standard operating procedure or SOP, which is technically a checklist of action items to perform for each product that you have in the Amazon marketplace. Here product, uh, I mean an SN. So historically, this was done with an Excel sheet that was just mailed around the department. And there are uh, many issues with the Excel format. So some of the main reasons are uh, multiple people cannot modify it at the same time. It's hard to add remarks. It's hard to keep track of the changes. And also any task completion had to be manually updated in the Excel sheet. So if you're working with multiple clients or if you have many products in many marketplaces using an automated SOP process can be very time saving. Uh, using an SOP is also a way to build a discipline in launching your Amazon product. Uh, this is especially useful if you have completed a task, for example, and if you want to have updated the conversion rate. For example, if you have updated the conversion rate for a particular product, you no longer have to go back and update the conversion rate for all the campaigns that are running for this product. So as of now, this might sound a bit confusing if you have never used SOP process before. Uh, so hopefully if I walk you through this uh, a hello autopilot SOP, you will have much more insight into how SOP works and how you can use it for your clients as well as for your own products. So introducing a hello autopilot SOP. So most of the disadvantages that I mentioned uh, using an Excel sheet can be mitigated by using an automated SOP system like the a hello autopilot SOP. I will go through an example here that will make things much clearer and offer an, a practical example of how to use SOP. So the first step to use an SOP process is to add an SOP for a product. You can add the SOP for a product just by clicking on the Add SOP button over here. Once you add an SOP, which is uh, for Amazon technically the SN of a product, you will see all the tasks for that particular SN has been automatically added. The system analyzes your product, all its metrics, including, including its um, conversion rate, click-through rate, and all of its campaign, and then creates a SOP task for it accordingly. The tasks are listed in order. Here in this particular scene, you can see that I have added three products and the SOP tasks for it are underneath. The tasks that are in red are technically the tasks that the system thinks is not complete. For example, the SN title should be at least 150 characters, but here I don't think this, this is 150 characters, so it has marked this as red. Sometimes we don't want to modify, so you can just mark it as complete and then add a little text over here and then mark it as complete. So there are multiple tasks for a product that you can see that the system has automatically added and it will also mark them as complete if it analyzes and finds that the task has been complete. Of particular importance is the list of campaigns over here. You can see it has created SOP tasks for all the campaigns, for example, sponsored product auto campaign, sponsored product broad match campaign, phrase match campaign, and here they're all in red, which means these campaigns do not exist for this SN. We can even drill down below this campaign and you can see the individual IntelliScore score for the campaign is missing because the campaign itself is missing. And the click-through rate for that campaign, the conversion rate for that campaign, the cost for that campaign. The statistics for all of these campaigns are automatically updated every 24 hours. So if you create a campaign, and if the click-through rate is good, this will automatically, the SOP will automatically be marked as complete. And technically what you could do is you could just go through a list of all of these tasks that are pending, that are in red. You can create that campaign and you can check for the score and you can wait for the click-through rate. If the click-through rate is bad, it will still be marked as red. And you can work on improving the click-through rate for that particular campaign. So there are probably around 200 tasks for each products that are created and they're listed in an order-wise fashion that you can work. So as you can see, SOP process is to give you a list of tasks for a particular assign that you can work on continuously one by one. And in a way, this enforces discipline for all the products that you have on an Amazon. And you can have a list of tasks. It gives you a roadmap for all the products on an Amazon. 
uh, the one manual task that you have to do is you have to decide which async to to put in the the sop because it cannot automatically pick up all the products and add an sop because there are some products that which you don't want to sell which you don't want to you know focus on so you just cl click on add sop for all the assets that you want to focus on and the system will create tasks 